Alright, Shalom, Shalom. This is Umma One from the Lion's Den Camp of Yashallah. Coming at you guys with a quick spiritual hydration. Hope it's edifying to the Akim, to the Akim, and to the children also. But before I get into it, we're going to give our praises to the Heavenly Father and the Son and their holy proper names. Ka Halayula, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Ha, Bakwa, Kodash, Ma, Ma. And I'm going to do a double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS. In citation to the occupant that's pushing his truth and sincerity across the, the four corners of the earth. All right. Um, and the spiritual hydration that I'm getting into is basically like meditating on the scriptures, meditating on the prophecies, staying active in this truth, all right, in this ministry, all right, because uh, we're almost at the end of the race. Um, and we just need to keep fighting and keep on doing the, the will and the works of Yahweh by Shemir Abu Shah. So I'm going to get to it. This is um, St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 46. It says, Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Kind. So that being said, it says, Blessed is the man that, 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 that the Lord finds so him doing, meaning like him doing the works of, of him. You know, because like, like the scripture says in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. In, in regards to uh, going out on the highways and, and prophesying, and, you know, preaching, preaching to the, to, to the, the children of Israel, all right, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because it's just, uh, it's the whole duty of man, all right. So it says, "Blessed is the servant whom his Lord, when he, he comes, shall find so doing." So it's a blessing, you know. What I'm saying if we, if we, uh, if the Lord finds us doing the work still when he comes, because like the Scripture says. Um, the most, the most, the most like you have a shot, but coming like a thief, um, like a thief in the night. I'm gonna bring that up. So I'm gonna get. Uh, I'm gonna get Psalms, chapter one, Shalom. Alright, this is Psalm chapter 1, verse 1. Alright, it says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful man. So blessed is the man that, that's, that's being holy, that's being set apart, you know. You know, be, um, you know, stand um stand ten toes down in this truth, you know, um separate yourself from the from the, from the wickedness of this world, man. You know, especially with the people that's um uh, that's that's still sinning, you know. That's still, you know, we all still sinning, but the ones that's, you know, uh, indulging in sin. It says, "Walk up not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand up in the way of sinners, nor sit up in the in the seat of the scornful." And the scornful, that's, that's uh, another word for uh, mockers or scoffers, uh, scoffers, man. So we're not supposed to be, um, you know, you know, dwelling in. Um, in the ways of, of, of those people, man, just be separated, separating ourselves from this world, man. You know, being alienated from this world. Shalom. But uh, verse two it says, "But but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law do he meditate day and night." So we're supposed to be, you know, joyful and rejoicing in this truth, man. You know, rejoicing and doing the works, man, because you know that's that's, that's pleasing to Yahweh when we're doing good works, man. It says, and his law do if he meditate day and night, man. So that's what, you know, that's what, that's what, that's what we're supposed to be doing. You know, just, you know, meditating day and night, you know, searching the scriptures, praying, you know, with all, um, you know, supplications to, to the most high, man. Asking for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding because that's going to be our stability for, the, for these times to come because judgment is getting ready to come, you know, across the four corners of the earth, man, you know. And I'm going to go to... Uh, Second Peter. Second Peter chapter three verse ten. All right. So this is uh Second Peter uh, Second Peter chapter three verse ten. It says, "But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night." 
in which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall, shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burnt up. So, kind of, man, the, the, the day of the Lord is, is, is very near. You know, I said, it, uh, but the scripture says, it says, uh, it says, cry out, uh, spread not, lift up, lift up like, like a trumpet, like uh, Isaiah 58 and 1. But it, it says that, you know, the most high is going to come like a thief in the night. So, we got to be constantly in this truth, constantly, you know, uh, prophesying to our people, constantly edifying our people, man, because it's all about edification right now, man. Because it's soon to come, um, it's going to be a family. You know, it's going to be a family, not a family of bread. That's coming, that's, that's coming to play right now. But also, it's going to be a family of the word, man. So soon, we, it's not, you're not going to be able to hear these words anymore, man. So <clears> that's why we got to be, you know, seeking him ten times more. You know, seeking him early while he is found. All right, so come on, man. So also, it says, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So come, man. So um, soon to come, you know, judgment is going to be, you know, um, released upon the earth, man. You know, uh, fervent heat. Uh, I see, I see, being missiles. You know, uh, destruction, desolation, man. It's coming. That those nukes, come you know, do do uh, World War Three. You know, the Most High is not. He, he is he is not slack concerning his prophecies, man. So you know, these things are really, really uh, hast hastily come upon upon the land. It's lucky. It says the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up, man. Seeing that that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, man? So, you know, like again, we're supposed to be separated from this world, man. Separated, you know, separated and also doing, you know, constantly, you know, meditating on on, on your house, watching your shots, you know, uh, words, man. Because with that being said, man, you know, if we don't, you know, we're going to find ourselves, you know, uh, being caught un unaware of, man. You know, it's, it, like he said, like he says, he's going to come in the thief of the night. So if we're, if we're not constantly doing the work, then the most high is going to, um, you know, find us sleep. And we're going to be destroyed from that, man. You know? So uh, I got one more scripture. Isaiah 26 and 3. Alright, this is Isaiah 26 and 3. It says, Thou, thou wilt keep him in, in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusted in thee. So with that being said, you know, if we if we trust in the most high, you know, it says, uh, what, what love is, love is keeping the commandments on Yahweh by Shimon Yahweh Shah. So if we love him, we're going to trust him also. You know, it says that will keep him in perfect peace. So he's going to keep us in perfect peace. He's going to keep our mind, you know, occupied on him, man. If we if we trust in him, if we trust in doing the works, you know, you know, trust in the process, you know, you know, especially from the, the, the apostles and the elders. If we trust the process, man, you know, and, and, and do everything in well, in our well doing, it's like it. you know, the most high is going to bless us, man. Right. So with that being said, I'm going to say Shalom.